I'm an urban designer in the School of Architecture and work on the changing role that design plays in cities today. In particular, I'm working on the design's changing role in light of climate disruption. We're currently working on two projects, one long-term and the other short-term. The first one is called Growing the City, Shrinking the Footprint. It turns on the premise of the green metropolis or the idea that the grayest city is the greenest city. The per capita energy consumption and carbon emissions of a resident of Manhattan is one quarter of the consumption and emissions of a resident of Houston. In short, if we all lived at a higher density, we would have no climate crisis. So the first project is an attempt to show how Houston could increase its population over the next 50 years, while at the same time becoming a high density urban environment with a low physical and ecological footprint. The second project we're working on is a year-long effort to, that attempts to deal with Houston's more immediate problem of flooding. It's an extension of the first project in as much as shrinking the urban footprint is not only a strategy for reducing our energy consumption and carbon emissions, it's a strategy for removing houses from Houston's 100-year floodplains. This is an enormous problem. Presently, there are over 100,000 houses in the 100-year floodplain. And with new post-Harvey calculations coming from FEMA, that number will be growing. We cannot engineer our way out of this problem, which means that the majority of these structures will have to be removed over time. In collaboration with engineering, we're designing a large-scale, long-range buyout program that will reconstruct the city's most vulnerable neighborhoods over time, enhancing their relationship to the bayou while drastically shrinking their carbon footprint.